Okay. So a tennis ball is released from rest and falls vertically through a small distance in air. Okay. What is the change in the speed of the ball and the change in the acceleration of the ball as it falls? So uh, the speed of the ball. So let us say there is, uh, this is the ball there and this ball is falling. So I will say that u is equal to zero because it has started falling from the rest. So because uh, nothing is written about the um, air resistance or the drag force, is, is the drag force considered here? That is the question. But we will see. So one thing is very sure that the velocity will increase first of all, because uh, it will be under gravity. So the speed of the ball will increase. We will go with A and C. So definitely B is wrong and D is wrong. And what about the acceleration of the ball? Let us read the question again. The ball is released from rest, falls vertically through small distance in air. What is the change in the speed of the ball and the change in the action of the ball as it falls? So nothing is mentioned about the air resistance. So we have to consider it. And moreover, if we do not consider it, let us say the air drag is not there, it is negligible. So the gravity does not change. So neither it will decrease nor it will increase. So all the four options will be wrong. So it definitely means that the drag force is included. So the drag force will act in the upward direction. Initially, the drag force will be zero because as we have already seen, the drag force is given by the formula KV, where K is a constant. And I have every time given you this formula. So FD is equal to KV. So initially the drag force will be zero, but after some time when the velocity is gained, it will not be zero. So acceleration of the ball will decrease because there will be a considerable force which would be acting against the weight. So the acceleration will definitely decrease. So A should be the answer for this question. I hope the question is absolutely clear to you. Initially, the uh, velocity will increase, okay, but the acceleration will be decreasing. So after some time, the acceleration will become zero and velocity will become a constant afterward. It will be zero. It was zero. It will increase and then it will become constant. So with this, all the best.